Gentlemen, what's up, all? Yeah, we got a uh, switch here for a uh, rigid drill. It's one of those, I'll put it in the title what it is. Can't think of the model number offhand. Anyway, it's one of these new uh, rigid drills. This, this switch, I changed out of a bed. Uh, yeah, this is a bed switch. I changed it out of the drill. And what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to take it apart and try to find out what went wrong. <coughs> and in the meantime, I want to give a shout out to Ave. Congratulations on your newborn. You'll make it through, pal. Don't worry about it. We all do. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. Yeah, so this switch was... It's non-functional. Checking on the meter, no good. So we ordered a new one, changed it out. Drill's working fine. So we're going to try to find out what the hell is wrong with this switch. I'm going to try to pry it open. Take off this uh, heat sink if it's possible. And we're going to see if we can open it up. Maybe find out what went wrong. I hate to just throw things away without knowing why. The switch failed. So, that's it. Let's get started. First, I'm going to take this uh, screws out of this heat sink if I can. I'm going to need a better screwdriver than that. Yeah, here, here we go. A little bit of uh, dielectric grease, whatever the hell you call it. And we have a uh, transistor of some sort. Hmm. Focus, you fuck. we go. Now let's see what else we got here. Alright, we might as well remove this uh, LED. This is the LED for the front light. Let's take that off. You see that's the LED that sits in the front. This is the single, single LED version. I only say that because I know some one of these uh, brands has a dual or triple LED version. Yeah, let's just see if we can pry this open. Get started. I need, I need a little prying thing. A little prying thing. There you go. Feels like it might want to move. Oh well, this is not going to be used in anything anyway. I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, we got a couple backlogs here. I wonder why. These I hope I don't have to uh, Let's hold this switch on, huh?
We'll get that off. We'll get this all off. In the meantime, looks like my battery's running low, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna make a pause right here. And we'll get back to opening this bad boy up. Okay, so we finally got a piece of this off finally. And look what we reveal inside here. A whole circuit board full of crap. The, uh, I had to clip off the uh, connectors in order to pry it open, and then it came open. This thing has so many clips on it. It's like a, it's like a marvel. There's so many clips. You can see some of the ones I broke off here. This is only some of them. There's big ones. There's little ones. They're all around everywhere and the ceiling coming apart. This this thing's still operational. It's got a strong spring on it. And it still can't get the rest of it apart. The switch up top for uh, forward and reverse. That's still moving. And that's a whole nother section with more clips holding it on. Plus these solder terminals. So what we're going to do is clip off some more of these terminals to see if we can get inside here. We also noticed that there's a little uh, rubber piece here that was, uh, you know, prevents any dust from getting inside the uh, switch inside here. Very interesting, huh? See that? Okay, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to try to get another section of this off, maybe the top part. And I'm going to uh, clip some of these things off. And yeah, so I'm going to uh, pause here and clip. Well, that's interesting. Just clip this one side here, and this popped off. This is like a. Uh, I don't know if this is a connector. Oh yeah, this connector connecting to these uh, spots here on the switch. You can see it. So this is like a snap-in, and then solder. This is a modern marvel, this little switch, i got to tell you. So let's uh, get some more of it apart. The, uh, the top is almost ready to come off. I think uh, yeah, a couple more clips, I think that's going to pop off. My ultimate goal is to get inside here, which is where the uh, slider is. And, uh, See what's up inside there. Look, all the clips I broke off and I'm still finding more. Here's yet another one. Now I'm just breaking these off because I have no intention of putting this back together. But yeah, I just break them off to get them the hell out of the way. And we can clip them with our little clippers if we have to. Most of them broke right off. Like, you know, they only break off when you don't want them to. Alright. Let's kill up that. Looks like, oh, look at this. That's the other half of that connector. It was, this is just the uh, forward and reverse switch. So that, that's a whole nother switch that they plug on top of this one. Yeah, and then solder it on. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. Even though we're going to have to break that open. Now, what's holding this together now? We got the clips. The clips are broke. This is open. You got to look at what that chip is. 
know if you can see that. Yeah. We're gonna have to uh, keep away this plastic a little more. You don't have a pair of these little nippers. They're great to have. I got these out of the flea market. So it looks like we need to cut this one. So now all you gotta do is nip it and then wiggle it back and forth a little. And it usually comes off. Yeah, see. There's another one of those clips I was telling you about. Let's clip that off. Let's get rid of it. I don't know. We might have to cut more of this off. There we go. Now, where are we going to separate it? Right around here. I don't see any more clips. Let's see if we can separate this. Somehow. Oh, there's the spring. I think. I think that's the spring in there. Looks like one. Anyway, I'm gonna try to pry this <coughs> off. Still ain't coming apart. And this is a strong switch. Too bad it's so much complicated it broke already. Let's see if we can get this to pry open. I finally ripped it open. Ripped this piece out of there. This came out of the side, so it must be under here somewhere. And, boy, what a good job to get that open. Alright, we're almost at the main switch. You know, even if you were one to repair this like me, forget about it because you'll never get it back together. But anyway, I'm just curious to see what was inside here. Finally, I'm at the spring. Looks like your average uh, pen spring, but stronger. I'll put that in your pen. That'll be nice. So then we got some other springs going on here. Contacts. Oh, that's what runs on the slider here. Interesting. Interesting. So it runs on that slider. We see our contacts here. They don't look bad. They hardly look hardly even used. None of these contacts look bad. So I have to say that this was probably something went wrong with the chip. Or with the uh, with this piece here, yep. Anyway, thanks for watching. See how that came apart. If I remember, I'll try to put pictures up of how the switch was in the drill, so you can see the layout. And it was easy to change, you know, you just had to solder two wires on. But you, the main hard part was routing, routing all the wires back in. But even that, it was cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to be doing a video soon of a uh, that old uh, power battery pack that I did a video on earlier. Well, all of a sudden, it's not working. As soon as you plug it in, 
the blue light goes on like it's all fully charged. If you plug it into your phone, don't do shit. So we're going to pull this apart. That was one of these uh, power banks. Anyway, that's going to be the next video. Anyway, thanks for watching. And see you in the next video. Okay, I couldn't let it go without showing you the rest of this. I opened up that switch that's on top. The uh, forward and reverse switch. Wow, look what's inside here. This thing is so over-engineered. Look how nice that is. There's a little barrel here, right? And it had four little springs inside. See them? Tiny little springs. This little ball bearing. These are the contactors that were around here. And inside there is here. You can see. Wow. And see, these are the uh, ends that were connected. This is the forward and reverse. And look, this is where it plugged in to the other switch on top. And then they soldered it. Soldered these wires to the forward and reverse for the motor. Wow. That is really something, huh? Look at that. Not, not four little springs, five little springs. There's two stuck together here. That's something. Okay, I just wanted to not forget to show you that. Anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.